again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I'm going to show you how you can add borders to your granny square projects. And seeing as how the granny stitch is my go-to stitch, I have a lot of videos on how to use the granny stitch, you know, in different ways for different projects. And especially since one of my more recent tutorials, which was the Lost Souls Blanket, had a granny stitch edge to it, well, you can dress it up a little. You know, I mean, yes, this, this is fine as is. However, mm, you can snazz it up a little bit. Now, for the Lost Souls Blanket, I added a, a shell border, you know, which, you know, spruces it up a little, makes it a little bit more snazzy snazz. And then, of course, there are variations. There's a double V stitch border that you can add, or perhaps even what I like to think of as sort of a, a sawtooth edge. And I'm going to show you how to do all three in this tutorial. All right, so I'm going to give you some options, you know, and feel free to experiment, you know, by all means, and explore what you can do to sort of snazzify what it is that you're doing. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first one I'm going to show you is the shell border, all right, the edging for that one. Now, after doing your slip stitch to your first double crochet, in this case, we're not going to go into the corner directly. You know, just do a slip stitch into that first double, then into the second double, and then we're not going to keep going into the next and then into the corner, at least not for this edging. So what you're going to want to do is to chain up one and single crochet into that same stitch, okay? Then into the corner space, 10 double crochets. By the way, I'm using a size K 6.5 millimeter hook, which is the same size that I used to, you know, make the square initially. Um, and I'm using Red Heart Super Saver at the moment, you know, just so, just, you know, so you know what it is that I'm actually using. Um, so I've got four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten doubles all into that chain three space. And then what you're going to want to do is single crochet into the middle double crochet. You know, be sure that you don't count, you know, you know, you don't go into this one, you go into the, the second one right here with a single crochet. And then into the next chain space, five doubles. One, two, three, four, and whoop, five. Okay. Then again into the second double crochet, do a single crochet. We're sort of anchoring it down, All right? Then into the next chain one space, another five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Anchor it again with a single crochet into the second double crochet. And then we've reached our corner again, so that's going to be ten doubles into that corner space. That's four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Oh, oh, oh. I'm spazzing out here. And I think that's 10. I always like to double check, you know me. All right, so I got two, four, six, eight, and 10. Perfect. And then you just keep going on in the same exact fashion. You do a single crochet into the second double crochet, and then five double crochets into the chain one space. And just keep working your way around. Now, I'm not going to do this entire round on camera, but I am going to show you how to finish up the round if you decide to do the shell border. All right, so I'm going to meet back up with you when I'm done with what I'm doing, and I'm going to show you how to finish it up. All righty. All righty, so I'm almost done all the way around, yes, and so when you're approaching the end, again, I'm going to single crochet into that middle double crochet right there. And then we still have one more space, so five double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Now, that first single crochet that we made right here is where we're going to do a slip stitch right into there. And then you would just cut your yarn and sew in your ends. And there you are. You have a lovely shell border, you know, a little, little snazzification, if you will, to an otherwise, you know, ordinary granny square. I mean, I don't think there's anything ordinary about granny squares, but I'm biased. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Alrighty. All right, so for the next one, we're gonna do the double V stitch border. So we are starting in the corner for this particular one. I'm gonna start by chaining up three. One, two, three. And then do another double crochet chain two, two double crochets. We're working into this corner space exclusively right now. So we've got two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So chain two, and then two more double crochets into the corner. Because you always have to have a couple more stitches in the corner spaces so that your piece doesn't buckle. All right, so now going directly into our first chain one space, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Like so, and that's our double V. All right, and then again, we're not doing any chain spaces in between, just going directly into our next chain one space with two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And then when you reach the corner, hopping right in with two doubles, chain two, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. So two doubles, chain two, then two more doubles. Chain two, and two more doubles, because you have to compensate. Like so, because we got three pairings, okay? And then Continuing right along, foot loose and fancy free, into that next space, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And so you would continue on in this fashion all the way around, and I will show you what to do when you reach the beginning. All right, I'll be back in a flash. 
Okay, so when you're almost at the end, I'm gonna show you what to do. I just need to do one more double V-stitch into that chain one space. So again, that's two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And then without doing any chaining, we're gonna slip stitch into the top third chain of that first double crochet that we made. Like so. And then you would cut your yarn and then sew in your ends. You know, this one, this one's kind of schmancy. I like it. And so that is the double V border. All right, and one more to go, the sawtooth edge. All righty. I, I don't know if, whether you know what to call them a border or an edging or which which is better. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> All right. So onwards and upwards to the sawtooth edge border thing. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the sawtooth border. So we are starting in the corner. Now, before you begin, I would suggest doing a chaining of one and a single crochet because we're going to need to do a slip stitch into that single crochet later. All right. So from here, chain up three, and that's going to act as our first double crochet, then into the space, four more double crochets for a total of five. So we've got three and four and five single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, four more doubles for a total of five into that same space. So I got two, three, four, and five, single crochet into the next space, chain three, four more doubles into the same space. That's two, three, four, and five. And then I treat the corners for this particular edging same way as I would any other chain one space. However, of course, if you find a better way of doing it, by all means, Go ahead. This is just me sort of, you know, playing around with an idea. So from here, single crochet into that corner space and then chain up three, four more doubles. So it's two, three, because that first chain always counts as a double. Four and five single crochet into the next space, and so on and so forth all the way around until you reach the beginning. And of course, I'm going to show you how to finish up. Alrighty. All right. So when you're approaching the end, going to do as we have been by doing a single crochet into that chain one space, chain up three, and then four more doubles into that same space. One, two, three, and four. And then last but not least, into that first single crochet that we made, we do a slip stitch. Ta -da! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. So we have ourselves the sawtooth edge and we have the double V edge and we have the shell edge, you know. And so this is just, you know, my little way of trying to, you know, say, hey, you know, as much as I love the granny stitch, 
and as content as I am to leave it as it is, well, you can do something to make it, you know, make it a little bit more snazzy snazz. All right. You know, let me know which, which one of these three is your favorite, you know, in the comments section, let me know. And, uh, you know, if the, if you like this video, please give a little thumbs up button down below because you know I appreciate your appreciation as always. And also hit subscribe for more because whether it's crocheting or knitting or audiobook narrations or my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, I try to post as often as I can. And, uh, you know, I hope you liked it. So until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.